An art carnival has reopened in Los Angeles nearly 40 years after it disappeared from Europe. The Pop Art Amusement Park is unique. It hosts iconic pieces from greats like Salvador Dali and Jean-Michel Basquiat. And its resurgence is in part thanks to one major hip hop artist whose team wanted to rediscover a lost history with the world. ABC's Melissa Adan takes us there. It was called the world's first art amusement park back in 1987, forgotten and locked away until it was rescued by a major hip hop superstar, a resurrection taking art lovers on a whimsical ride all over again. Multi-sensory, immersive, art and amusement experience. Luna Luna, conceived by Austrian showman Andre Heller, opened on fairgrounds in Hamburg, Germany, where visitors flocked to his carnival, children mounting on carousels, families admiring the paintings that decorated the rides. When it was originally shown in Hamburg, it was an amusement park ride that had art. And now I think we get to kind of focus on the art and see the amusement in it. Artwork cultivated by some of the great modern artists of our time. A Ferris wheel designed by graffiti artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. A carousel featuring pop artist Keith Haring's iconic figures. A swing ride spray painted by California street artist Kenny Scharf. But six weeks later, the amusement park vanished. And it was meant to go on tour, but as some of the biggest dreams do, you know, it got caught up in, in I'm sure, logistics and um, contracts and things, just moving it around and going on such a, you know, large scale tour. This was stored for 35 years after that. It did not go on tour. Locked up and stored away in shipping containers for nearly four decades. What was your initial reaction when you first saw some of the Luna Luna pieces? I blew my mind. You like walked into the old studio warehouse and you were just kind of, I'm sure it must feel like how people feel walking into this space. It's unexpected and not something you regularly face. Autumn Beck is the collection manager for Luna Luna Forgotten Fantasy, helping revitalize these priceless works of art. They are priceless because there's not another one that exists. This, these are absolutely unique, one of a kind pieces with often, you know, the hand of an artist that's no longer here. This Los Angeles studio is now Luna Luna's new fairgrounds. Even the rides are back, but only for guests to admire, not ride. And it's thanks to that superstar, Drake. The influential hip hop artist helped get these works of art out of these shipping containers. There were no instructions. <laughs> so we had a team of about 10 people who thoroughly looked at plans, who looked at the photography that I was telling you about and some of these like archival photographs, looked through, the plans are all in German, so like identified parts and just, they were professionals. They piece by piece just put everything together and got it working, got it working well. Drake's entertainment firm, Dream Crew, acquiring Luna Luna, sight unseen, dusting off the iconic collection more than 35 years after it was forgotten. How influential do you find a Drake in all of this? Well, I mean, I don't think that we would be able to do this without Dream Crew. Putting on a production like this is no small feat. And I think that Drake, and, and along with all the other partners, are involved in the arts and culture, of which this stands in the center of that. So a huge influence in the sense of, like, let's accomplish something amazing. Restores work to put the pieces, literally, back together using forensic clues and archival images breathing life back to these modern masterpieces like Basquiat's Ferris wheel. He gives like all these like clues and, and kind of, it's like a poetry of a piece. And Herring's Carousel. I love that piece. I mean, that is a, a jewel, a gem of a piece too. It's so well preserved. It's so glorious. And the banners that go with it, kind of looking at them too as like a whole of pop culture at that time. Even a Salvador Dali named Dali Dome incorporates a geodesic dome with a mirrored interior. These pieces of art are what brought in Sarah and her friends. Art is creativity and no matter the spectrum of art that you're on, you all are inspired by some sort of painting or some sort of person from whatever age. 
igniting a renaissance in modern art, a genre with devoted fans. I love seeing all ages here and hoping that some people who may not have known these artists are being introduced to them and, and opening up uh, for a whole new generation. So, I love that. Yeah. Closing the gap on a generation and ensuring art is only a ride away. For you as the, a lover of arts, why do you find it so important that any single person can have access to art and learn about it? Art, music, all of that is just the, the, the juice that makes life worth living. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we can't get lost in Excel spreadsheets all the time, so let's go do some fun things. <laughs> Creativity is what it takes to do anything, so I think we, we should give it what it deserves. And making it more accessible I think just gives more people the opportunity to find that spark themselves. And that is Melissa Adan reporting. Our thanks to her. Luna Luna Forgotten Fantasies now open through mid-May. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.